Hi guys, it's me Ty and here I am with another unboxing. Here I have Nendoroid number 560, Hestia from the anime and light novel series um, Danmachi or How to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon. It's a long title, I always mess it up at some point. Everyone just pretty much calls it Danmachi. Oh, it's down here, I always forget about it. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? That's the long English title for it. But like I said, most people just shorten that to Dan Machi. So here is Hestia, the lolly goddess. She's adorable. Um, I think I mentioned in the haul video, I forgot which month this came out of. As it is today is April 1st, but this is no full April Fool's joke. But um, as I mentioned in that haul video, I have yet to finish Dan Machi. Um, so there's a lot of the story that I'm missing, but I love Hestia. She's just too adorable for words. I love her long pigtails. She's just really cute. So here's her Nendoroid. You can see it here from front. Um, she doesn't come with much, but she does have a bunch of extra pairs of arms, two extra face plates, and as you can see, the string to go around her dress. Um, there's like three different versions of it. And for anyone who has checked out the light novel, you know this string moves around everywhere. And I mean everywhere. So yep, here she is adorable. I love how they kept the box simple and just blue and white to match her outfit, the dress, and the ribbon. She really doesn't have much to her because besides the gloves she wears on her hands, um, mostly she's just barefoot. But uh, yeah, oh, I'm glad I'm opening this now. You can see from the front of my box that her hand has kind of come off her arm. So that would irk me. I would definitely have to fix that. I definitely couldn't like just display this in box. I would have to fix this now. So yeah, here's the top of the box. Really cute pose here. You can see one of the reasons I decided to get her. She looks really adorable. Like I said, she doesn't come with much. In this pose, she just has like that in her hand, but really cute. The bottom, still adorable. From the side, same pose, adorable. This side, still really cute. And finally, the back. So, yeah, let's get into it. You see even the inside of the box is plain white, so yeah, they really kept it simple. Okay, so here we have the standard Nendoroid instructions, which we've seen a hundred times by now. And here we have Hestia herself. Like I said, still plain, just, oh, here's the sit down part and the arms and the ribbon and the faces. Yep. Okay, following up with that, we have the standard extra Nendoroid neck joint. Here we have the standard arm for the base. <sighs> I'm not happy with it already. Um, it looks to be a little short. Oh no, this is the piece here. Not too bad, does it? It feels thin enough, so maybe I won't have any problems with it. We shall see. I don't know, I'm starting to hate these every time I open up the Nendoroid dies. Um, next, we have the standard Nendoroid base, and as with Kojaku and a few other ones, this one is pretty clearer compared to like the more opaque ones uh, we used to have in the beginning. I don't know if this is going to be the new standard or what, but I like tend to like it much better. And with the base was attached this other blue ribbon. Now the other ribbons you see here through the blister pack, these are made of plastic, same as the Nendoroid, but this is actually a cloth ribbon. Um, I wasn't aware this was going to be added to the pack. I guess this is for people who would prefer this over the standard plastic ones not quite sure but so glad that they added that really decent detail and now for the Nendoroid <laughs> okay guys I guess I can finally start filming a police car a fire truck a train and a helicopter just went by and I know that sounds like a bad joke but yeah I'm completely serious but anyway First pose up and here we have our first look at Hestia and I gotta say guys already I love this Nendoroid and basically this is just the same pose she came with straight out of the box except for that I added her ribbon which was a little wasn't a struggle I gotta say but um just like in the anime her ribbon seems to have like a mind of its own because it just moves all over the place but like I said back to our first look at Hestia she is amazing if you can't tell already she's really adorable very simple but adorable everything about this Nendoroid is really true to the character um 
hair wise as you can see here's her two twin tails i love how it's not just like a straight spiral there's kind of like these zigzag little pieces of hair on the end um and contrary to how it may look on camera and any photos you may see of this netherroid online her hair isn't as black as it looks in those photos it's actually more dark grayish and that's because it has a bit more of a gradient all throughout it it's a really cool effect like i said looks more gray in person some may like that some may not but i think it's fine it's pretty dark and just i love the little detailed gradient all throughout here you can see her bows up here I don't know if mine has a slight paint defect because it's like some of the blue is kind of mixed into the gray, which I don't mind because as we know, I love blue. So a really pretty color. And I saw others mention this online um, and I wasn't quite sure what they meant. But when you see the Nendoroid in person, Guzma Company kind of used made this one more like a pinkish tone, which doesn't sound like much. You're like, yeah, right, whatever, it's just pink. But it actually gives it a more realistic kind of skin tone effect. It's really weird. Um, here's one of the face plates so you can see. Let me just see if I can get one of the other Nendoroids. Yeah, here's Alba. Alba who, yeah, Alba. I'm pretty mad at him right now. As you notice, he's not on his base and he's missing a hand. Because, yeah, he never stays on. But um, you can see the differences in the skin tone already. See what I mean? Hers is slightly more pinkish, so it has more like a realistic skin tone look to it. And I'm not sure like what made them do it, but I really do appreciate the effect, especially since she's barefoot. It really makes her feet look like she's kind of like chubby and happy and energetic and yeah, really cool effect. Makes it a really pretty Nendoroid. So yeah, also you can see how they kind of stuck with the full character where she has this skin tight white mini skirt on. And of course, even though she's the lolly goddess, she's really, really busty as you can't help but miss just staring at her. So, yeah, really cool Nendoroid, guys, I gotta say. And she was a breeze to put on her base, which I haven't really been able to say much lately. Really glad that happened, because usually that like annoys me first off, and then I tend to kind of hate the Nendoroid after that. Alba, mentioning him again. Um, but no, she went on pretty well. So, like I said, this is pretty much the pose straight out of the blister pack, except for the ribbon on. But, um, yeah, she, already she looks fantastic. Really adorable. Okay, guys, second pose up, and you can see it's just as amazing as the first. Here's the first of the extra face plates that came with the Nendoroid. As you can see, it's Hestia's confident expression. Her hands are on her hips, and she looks like she's trying to own the world. Or, in this case, Belle Coon. As you know, Belle's her favorite person in the world. But, yeah, she looks really cocky and confident with this pose. And, once again, her ribbon seems to have a mind of its own. Um, but, really 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 adorable like I said just as with the first pose this one's very simple all I did was switch out the arms and the faceplate everything went smoothly um, there was nothing really else to add but just that slight difference and she's still 100% adorable I really love this one I like the first one I showed but this one so far is my favorite really love that confident expression what do you guys think Okay, guys, um, just real quick, I just wanted to show you this. Um, upon removing Hestia's bottom half, um, which I have to say was slightly, not quite difficult, but, I mean, it really was on there pretty tight. I had to really kind of, like, tug it off. Um, you'll notice that her peg is not as what we normally see with Nendoroids and when attaching their bottom halves. You can see how it kind of has, like, this weird uh, rigid design and this flat peg here. It's really weird. Like I said, pretty unique to Nendoroids. But you'll be even more, if you're like me, you'll be even more confused, especially like when you see the sitting part straight out of the blister pack. Since it has this big giant clear peg right here and you're not quite sure how these two things would fit. Um, especially like with me, I'm so used to Nendoroids, I never read the instructions anymore. I kind of just automatically push them aside. Um, but what this is, is that this clear part is what they call a strength resistant plug. I guess it's basically to keep this whole area from closing up. So you would just pull that out and then attach the sitting part that way. So pretty simple, but like I said, if you're like me and didn't read anything and kind of just tossed it to the side, you'll be like, oh, what? What is this? Yeah, I spent a few seconds trying to figure out how that would work. So just wanted to show you that. 
Now, back okay, to Okay, guys, posing. next pose up, and I have to say it's another adorable one. Here we have Hestia kind of sitting down to one of her favorite meals, which is a croquette, as, like, she shared with Belle in the series. As you can see, she looks really cute. She's still wearing the same confident expression faceplate, but this time, with the way her head is kind of tilted down, it kind of has, like, a slight blushing or excited look, um, as if she's really excited to eat this one croquette. Um, as you can also see, she's kind of just plumped down on the ground, like, forget about propriety and all those things. She just wants to enjoy her croquette and be happy about it. As you may also notice, she's sitting on here without her base, which I love. Uh, but I was just about to say, I don't recommend the pose. I mean, to do that, the pose is fine itself, but I don't recommend you to use the pose without the base because though she sits fine, what just happened is an indication of why. Um, unless you have her really balanced, she will tip over because her head is so much bigger. The only reason she's kind of sitting up now is because with her head tilted down, it kind of holds her a little bit steady. But any wrong move or slight wind and she's tipping over. But you know me, like I said, I don't recommend it for everyone else to do. But you know me, I like to live a little bit dangerously. And I like to test out po any kind of pose you can do that doesn't require the base. Because usually the base is one of the biggest hassles. But so even though she can sit like this on your shelf, I recommend you don't do it. Or if you do it, um, push her way back at the back of the shelf and put something soft under her. So if she falls off, you know, you won't scrape up your nendoroid. But yeah, like I said, really cute, really adorable pose. Wish you guys dares her face better. Love that. She really, like if I tilt her back like this, she really does have that lolly look right now. Which is just adorable. Like she looks like a little kid just trying to eat her food. So really cute, really adorable pose. Still not my favorite compared to the last one, but this works perfectly with so many other Nendoroids that I own. Okay, guys, final pose, and it's so cute. I could just scream. It's just adorable. As you can see, either I don't know, someone took her a croquette, or Belle is off chasing another girl. I don't know, but here is Hestia with her sulking expression, or her spo spoiled child, or however they call it. But as you can see, she seems to be throwing a tantrum. She still plopped down on the ground, but this time her hands are up in her fist, and her eyes are squeezed shut. Really, really adorable. You see the big frown on her face and her eyebrows are really squinched together. She's so cute. I really love it. Um, as you can see, I have her back on her base because she's even more unstable in this pose. I guess because as her tantrum, her head is kind of tilted back slightly bit compared to um, the, first, the last eating pose. So she definitely tips over with this. So I don't re recommend leaving her off the base at all. Like, even I won't try it because that's how much she was falling without it. But yeah, guys, I have to say, really cute. Another simple pose, but just so stunning. Even still, this, I don't know, maybe I'll leave it for a little while. But I still love her confident expression even better. That was my favorite, even though so far I've loved them all. So, okay, guys, final review score. I'm going to be biased. I have to say, guys, I love this Nendoroid so much. I love the way they did her skin tone. I love that she's cute. Um, and I love that all her poses were so simple and easy. It wasn't much to this Nendoroid at all, but everything went so smoothly. I mean, she has nothing. She just has a few extra ribbons, a few extra arms. But... I don't know. I just love this Nendoroid so much. She was just so perfect. I had no headache with her at all. Even this filming went pretty easy compared to some of my others. So guys, I'm going to throw my bias in and have to give Hestia a 10. That's right, a 10. I mean, her price was decent. I mean, you know, they do have to pay for licenses, good small company. So, you know, the price price kind of adds in for that um she comes with nothing extra like i said just a few extra ribbons a few extra face plates not much in the way of accessories but she's just great she's so cute she's adorable no matter what pose you put her in fits her very well she poses nicely on the shelf and she goes great with so many other of my nendoroids so like i said a 10 I'm just going to be biased and say 10, but to me, she deserves it. And I don't regret her at all. I actually really recommend this one for all those who are fans of the series and fans of the character. I don't think you will regret getting this one. So I have to say, guys, thanks for watching. 
hope you enjoyed this as much as I did because like I said she's now moved to one of, top of my list as being one of my favorite Nendoroids of all time and there she is so yeah like I said guys thanks for watching bye <laughs>